Hello, it's the beaver here of the Full Moon Variety, and today I've got a home improvement video. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, these are the blocks I've just selected at random that I may or may not use. I, w I won't list them all to you because you're probably aware of what they are. That one just above the fence post is clay brick, just in case you're unsure because this is the fancy texture pack that I'm using. Um, the red and blue wall is just to highlight the window and the torch. Look at that. Sheep. Again. Anyway, what most people start off with in Minecraft is a build like this. Something basic, but it meets your needs. But it's got all the character of a prison cell. So what I'm going to do for, for you today is show you how to just add a little bit of detail and turn your house into a home. So we'll do we'll put these in like so and it's really not hard to add just a little bit of detail just to improve the look of your build yeah, I mean you can do this in, if you're building creative or if you're in survival totally up to you um, you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing here you just take a little bit of inspiration and give it your own touch but this is just to show you how I started off making my builds for houses just a little bit more interesting to look at and um, well that's my opinion anyway <laughs> but uh, yeah it's, it's it's certainly helped for me become a better crafter and builder within the game I'll just remove all the grass here unless you want to keep the grass then totally up to you oh, get rid of that one and I've got so many new ideas I'm trying to implement in my new steampunk airship build if you haven't seen that go and check out beavercraft that's going to be the mainstay of that series for the time being because that uh, airship is going to be huge and cloud haven by lynch inc is the big inspiration there right so we've got the door we've got the floor in the walls up it's time to add a bit of detail what do you reckon go away piggy go away shoo I'll turn you into a bacon sandwich. Right. Let's have a look. What have we got here? What indeed? Um. Yeah, we'll take that. And swap them around like so. Actually, we'll do this. Right. Downstairs there with a half slab on the upper level. That looks pretty cool. What do we do need though is that full block of planks. And then underneath we'll stick wood logs in. That looks pretty cool. Nope, not there. And some more upside down stairs on the sides. And then some fence posts on top of them stairs. Oh, that looks pretty cool. See, it's all about just experimentation. Don't be scared to try something different. A lot of people I've spoke to recently have been like, oh, I don't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. Just try something, try anything. There's almost endless possibilities for you in Minecraft. You've just got to find that little style, your little niche, where you can say, yeah, this is my style, this is my design. So go for it, don't be afraid. You never know, you might come up with something really, really good. And if you do, and you have the ability to put videos on YouTube, then by all means reply with a link to your video. I'd love to see what you've done. Right, we'll do that there. And... Swap them about for now. And we'll put the cold stone walls here in the corner, like so. Um, what should we put here? I know. Stone brick. That'll look alright, won't it? Oh, we'll try it anyway. So here it goes. Can 
can always add a bit more to that later, I think. Should we need to, that is. It might look alright as it is. Like I said, it's all about experimentation. Put some fence posts there. And put these stone half slabs underneath. Yeah, that'll do. Right, we'll do the same this side now. And there we go. Da, 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 da. See, once you've done one side, we're doing the other side so quick because you'll have it fresh in your head and you'll be like, yeah, know what's going where. Unlike me, oh, I just put random blocks down, apparently. <laughs> Oh, silly beaver. Silly, silly beaver. Right. Yeah, that, that looks okay. Well, should we do the same at the top? Oh, yeah, we'll put them at the top. That looks okay. I see, it's really coming along already, you know. It doesn't take long to... Whoops. To actually start making a build. Seem a bit more fleshed out, you know really doesn't. Right, um, what I'm going to do for Friday's video, I am out of games to review on my channel, which is a shame. I've sent out a load of emails. Um, the company who published Coffin Dodgers, which I did recently, they've responded to me with a yes for a game that they have developed, which is coming out very soon. It's a puzzle game in a cyber world and it's called Soul Axiom and it's a very very pretty indie game and I'm liking the look of it it does look absolutely spot on and again thanks to Ben of Wales Interactive the PR and community manager there top guy and I shall be getting the code for review hopefully tomorrow if everything's gone to plan, they've had a bit of a delay with that. So, fingers crossed, I get that code tomorrow and I can start playing that and reviewing it. And then I'll be able to let you beaverlings know exactly what that game's like. I've got high hopes for this. Uh, he, he did respond to me about saying, Oh, you live in Wales as well, top man. I was like, yeah, I am, aren't I? I am brilliant. But he says, to be honest, he says we're more of a badger company, not a beaver company and I, was, I thought to myself what and then he included a link to this game about space badges <laughs> so it's a physics puzzler and it looks absolutely brilliant so I hope that makes it onto Xbox as well so I'd certainly like to review that I mean space badges what more could you ask for that, that, that's just absolutely spot on I think right so, yeah. Let's have a look here where it's like birch planks, space badges. I just can't get over that, that's just fantastic. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> I'm going to sit here and chuckle to myself for the rest of the video, I think. Right, stick these up like so. Dum -dum 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 -dum. There we are. And, uh, no, you know what, I won't do the wood as the trim, we'll do stone brick, because this is going to be the insert for it, I think. I did that wrong, sorry about that folks, I've just wasted a bit of your time. So, in the meantime, I won't sing and entertain you, because my singing voice is terrible much like my speaking voices, to be honest, but uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll live. Anyway, for those of you lucky enough to be on the Facebook group at Game Central Lives, I'm doing a giveaway on there for a rock candy controller in blue be boom colour. It's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, I did a review of one, and I got over 200 views on that video, so I'm a happy little beaver. And it's a wired controller, they're budget price, but they are absolutely brilliant to use. Great if you've got kids. 
I mean, the only downside is you can't use a headset with it. There is no port to plug your headset in or anything. But like I said, budget controller, great for the kids. If you don't want them talking to strange people online, they pretend to be beavers and such. And yeah, I know my local Asda has them for £28 on Xbox One, and I think it's... 18 for the 360 version so you know they are quite cheap and they're quite sturdy as well my kids love them they're both because i've got a blue and a green one at the minute and they've been running around the house pretending to play xbox the last couple of days so they're happy but i'm gonna have to disappoint them and i, I will be giving the blue one away so if you're on facebook go to the game central lives page and keep an eye out for my post and I will be giving that away very soon, it's some point in the, in the week. So if you fancy getting your hands on that, just keep an eye out for the post. I'm probably going to ask like a little question, so, you know, something sort of basic, something not too hard. It would be gaming related anyway, so if you fancy you get your hands on one, just respond to the post and that's all you have to do. Uh, I'm hoping to get some codes for a giveaway for Cubicolor. Um, just waiting to hear back off the publisher Moving Player. Uh, it's a fantastic little puzzle game. Uh, I can see my brain flatlining by the time I finish that one. Uh, cause it's got a great learning curve, don't get me wrong, but I've seen some of the later levels and they do look really tough. But, you know, you've you got to have a challenge now and again in life, haven't you? But I'd highly recommend the game. It's a lot of fun. And it does make you think, you know, it's certainly worth a, a purchase. It's very cheap. It's about £6 and a few pennies on top of that. It, you really can't go wrong at that price. Especially when there's 150 levels in the game and then 150 hardcore variants of each level so you've got 300 levels for six quid uh, you, you do the math and tell me that's not value for money this is why i recommend the game it's good it's cheap and there's a lot of levels to complete and it's not going to be a game where you're going to breeze through in an afternoon unless you're some sort of genius <laughs> but uh yeah definitely a good game that anyway building a nice little funky pattern in the roof here don't be afraid to try things differently look like this is what i've done recently after following a tutorial for a build on beefcraft and it, it just had the most funky design and i was i thought to myself, you know what i'm gonna have to try something like that because i do love the style and here we are I'm showing you just a basic one here this is nothing too difficult like I said, just try something new, don't be afraid. And right, we'll put three on top of there. And then some steps. Pardon me, hiccup and a burp. What the hell is that about? And then we'll put three half slabs on top, all overlapping each other. And we'll change that to some stairs, actually. Just to break it up a bit. stairs almost done and there we go right what should we do across the top there I don't know we'll do these these steps that they are pretty cool like this nice ridged effect there we go oh is this finished it's looking pretty cool so there you have it house on the left same dimensions as for the walls just add a bit of detail to the walls and then just chuck a funky roof on really isn't that hard if you've got the patience to try something new 
And it's certainly worth it if you want to improve your build styles. You know, just giving you some options here. You want to copy this design? F please feel free. I honestly do not mind. You know, I'm just here to try and help the community as best I can. And, ooh, well, best sort this out. You can't have holes in the walls. But it, it is nice to put my ideas out here and see what other people think and, you know, feedback whether you like it or you don't. Just let me know. I honestly don't mind. I'm not going to be uh, offended. But uh, if you want to leave a comment as to why, I'd really, really appreciate uh, blah, 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 blah. If I could speak, it would help. I'd really appreciate that. You know, it's it's nice to hear what the community think and what other Minecrafters think themselves. All right, we'll put this mossy stone in. See what that looks like. Oh, that's not too bad. That's all right, isn't it? That'll do. Like I say, just try things out. If you're not sure, leave them for a bit. Right, just a case of doing this. And voila. Damn, that looks like it's done. I'll just put some torches in here, It'll lighten the place up a bit. Right, what we'll do here, we'll stick some logs in, just to finish the look off a little bit. So, there we have it. Let us know if there's any uh, tutorials you want to see, be interesting. Um, as for Friday's video, like I said, there's no game review, so what I'm going to be doing is a tour of Cloudhaven. I have the world downloaded onto my Xbox One now, so you'll be able to see it in all its glory. It is absolutely stunning. Wait until you see it, folks. You're going to fall in love, and then you're going to want to visit it, like pretty much everyone else has said they want to see it. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, leave a comment please. I would absolutely love to hear what you got to say about it. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!